The AI space never seems to rest and the pace of innovation is only getting wilder. Just yesterday, we saw the launch of Claude 4.5 Sonnet, a frontier coding model, followed by glimpses of Gemini 3.0 coming out next week. And today, OpenAI just dropped Sora 2, its next-gen video generation model. But perhaps the most exciting news for the open source community is the comeback of ZAI's new release of the GLM 4.6 a major upgrade from the already impressive GLM 4.5 launched just a month ago. GLM 4.6 is designed with a strong focus for advanced agentic workflows, reasoning as well as real-world coding capabilities, putting it in the direct competition of large players in the space like Claude as well as OpenAI. Now, the model pushes boundaries with support of 200k context exceptionally well in its performance on software development tasks and strong reasoning and search capabilities. But the thing that makes GLM 4.6 superior is its coding performance as an open source model that does really well on real world tasks. But not just that, the pricing structure also makes this probably the best model to go to for software development tasks due to its efficiency and quality. But the GLM 4.6 is priced at 6 cents for 1 million input tokens and with cached input, it's listed at 11 cents, which is pretty good. Now the output is listed at $2.20 per 1 million output tokens, and it has a 200K context window, which isn't the best, but it's pretty decent considering its performance. In regards to the performance, you can see that the GLM 4.6 was able to do quite well across reasoning, agents, coding, and other benchmarks, because it shows clear gains over the 4.5, which just released yesterday. It outperforms open source baselines like the new DeepSeek version 3.2 and nears Claude Sonnet 4, but trails Sonnet 4.5 in overall coding. Now, in certain cases like in math, as well as GPQ and live code bench, it does exceptionally well up against many of these other models. But in certain cases like Sway Bench Verified, as well as Terminal Bench and T Squared Bench, you can see that it's slightly behind Anthropic's new Claude Sonnet 4.5. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. If you're looking to get started with this model, it's uploaded on Hugging Face if you have the requirements to host it locally. You can easily access it through the ZAI chatbot where you can simply just select the GLM 4.6 and use it unlimitedly over here. Now, you also have the ability to access it for free using an API through Kilo Code. They give out free credits where you can easily access it through their AI agent, which is something that I would highly recommend that you do so. Now, another way is through Open Router, and this is another provider that you can use via API. So let's get started and now test this out. To access Kilo Code, you can head over to the extension store within your IDE, whether that's VS Code, and you can search up Kilo Code and then you can install it, which is a free extension that you can work with. Now, what we can do is select the new GLM 4.6 model, and you can see that it's available here, and now we can use it to test out anything. We're gonna first start off by creating a browser-based OS from scratch that is a Mac OS style. And essentially the reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to see how well this model is in terms of its system design and architecture skills. If it's capable of breaking down the concept of an OS and making it into modular components, we're gonna see if it's able to code out these different components, uh, its front end designing framework and how well it is in terms of reasoning. And there we go, quite rapidly, Kilo Code was able to output this Mac OS styled browser based OS and it looks absolutely amazing, guys. This is probably the best OS I have saw any model generate. You have a file manager, you have the terminal, you even have a notes tab where you can actually have it write down different sorts of notes, bold it, add an italic, and a couple other features. You also have a calculator and this is something that mimics the, the Mac OS uh, style, which is absolutely amazing. But all of these components were fully generated in a single shot. And this is probably the best browser based OS that I had generated with any sort of model. Heading over to the GLM chatbot, this is where we're going to select the 4.6 model and then we're going to have it enable the creation of AI slides. And now we're going to actually have it create a slide deck on my channel, World of AI. 
I simply just provided the URL as well as the description of my channel. And we're going to see what this model is capable of generating in terms of the slide deck. So let's see what it actually does. It has the capability of using web search, and it is something that does really well with tool usage. What I really like about this model is that it thoroughly reasons with individual subtasks that the agents develop. Usually what happens is when a model generates a to-do list or any sort of plan, it is something that a couple of agents actually thoroughly analyze. But in this case, this is where it reasons with each individual subtask, which is quite impressive. And in terms of its code speed, it is pretty impressive. You can see that it is working on coding out all the individual slides right now. There we go. It looks like it has finished generating our slide deck on our channel. And it was able to extract all the contents by scraping the web page of our channel where I was able to get the contents like our subscriber list as well as our total views as well as the videos. Now we have a slide deck that represents the content information. So it looks like it did a great job in generating the overall format of it. Talks about the channel overview, content focus, talks about AI coding agents, and it talks about a couple of other things. So I really like how it did a great job in scraping the contents, but overall I would give it an eight out of 10 in terms of its creativity and thoroughly actually generating all the contents of a slide deck. Next up, I'm going to have Kilo Code work on this task of creating a SAS landing page. This is essentially a prompt that I would send in to test how well the model is in terms of its front end UX capabilities, how well it is in terms of generating all the components. But one thing I noticed is that say these files, you can see that these files are pretty lengthy. And one thing that I realized is that it's able to code out all of the components quite rapidly with quality. And in terms of its pricing, it is extremely cheap in comparison to other models. But it looks like it has finished generating it. So let's actually take a look at it. So I have just opened it up and this is the output. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Typically, we would see some typical AI generated SAS lining page, which has similar components like any other model would generate. But in this case, this is something that is abstract and it's something that is different. It uses a different color scheme and in terms of the components, it looks like it did a great job. Now, you can see that there's also a couple of other things that generated different uh, components like experience AI in action. This is something that's new that you wouldn't see typically in an AI SaaS landing page. There's a pricing structure that AI generated, some testimonials, seamless integrations, Q&A, as well as the bottom footer. This is something that I would actually deploy for my website. Like the quality is there and it did it pretty quickly and with good pricing. And you can see that Kilo Code is still refining it, it's still working on improving it, which is why this is the perfect AI agent you would want to use. Next up, we're going to have the model generate SVG code of a butterfly. And we're trying to see how proficient it is in generating the SVG code, as well as seeing if it's able to creatively add new features and focus on symmetry. Looks like we have now gotten the generation for a butterfly and there we go. This is a pretty cool looking butterfly. You have eyes, an antenna, a body structure that has the wings attached to it. It looks pretty detailed in my opinion and I would give this a pass. Next up, we're testing it on its mathematical and reasoning skills where I'm testing it on this prompt where I'm saying you flipped a fair coin repeatedly. What's the expected number of flips until the pattern heads, tails, heads is appearing for the first time and essentially this is where it's going to reason on multiple solutions and we're trying to see how well it is in terms of reasoning modeling out the different sorts of outcomes and we're trying to see how well it is in terms of stating the transition logic and you can see right away it is working on this where it states out the different stochastic reasoning and markov modeling at the start it is then working on different conditions as well as expectations and it comes up with the correct answer which is 10. so it would take 10 different steps to get to the pattern that we're looking for and you can see that it did a pretty quick job and reasoning to get this answer now i know its coding capabilities are pretty impressive but in terms of its tool usage as well as reasoning it is way superior in that front and you can see that with the generations that I'm showcasing here. This is where it was able to properly and thoroughly generate a research on a prompt that it sent in. And it did a great job in searching and scouring the web for different sources. And it did a great job in compiling it and generating the deep research. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, 
you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the GLM 4.6. Here's my two cents. This is a perfect open source model for coding. It's cost efficient and it's qualitative. It's not the best in terms of its context, but overall its coding performance is pretty impressive. It has advanced reasoning built within and they exhibit different sorts of tool usage as well as integrations that makes it more powerful than ever before. In my opinion, I would use this as a cost efficient coding model that you can use locally if you have the compute or you can even use it through API because it's pretty cheap. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the GLM 4.6. Let me know what you guys think. I'll leave all these links in the description. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our private discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of videos that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.